Hey babes, welcome to another Sunday vlog. It's not Sunday, it's actually Thursday, but I call these my Sunday vlogs because they get uploaded every Sunday. Also, I apologize for the lighting. It actually might be a little too bright. The sunlight is still going strong and it's about, I wanna say 5.30 in the evening right now. I just got off of work and I wanted to start off this vlog, but it's actually kind of weird because I'm in a funk kind of odd mood today. It actually started with a really bad dream last night. So I don't know about you guys if you've ever experienced this, but if you wake up from a bad dream, your entire day is basically ruined. And I feel like that's what happened today. And I started my period. What are the chances that those two unpleasant things happen on the same day? I don't know. I do think that my anxiety has been pretty bad today and I don't know, I just wanted to talk to you guys and just start the vlog. I always try to make my videos really positive, but I do think that these videos once in a while, it shows the more realistic side of things too. So in an effort to give myself a little bit of a pick-me-up, I am going to take a nice long shower right now, especially because my hair is so greasy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It feels so gross. Hopefully that'll kind of, I don't know, rinse away the bad dream that I had last night. After my shower, I am planning on making some cocktails with Charlie. So that'll be fun. And hopefully that'll boost my energy up a little bit. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what we're making. Without me jabbering on forever, let me go ahead and hop in the shower. And then once I'm back, let's make some cocktails together. I just got out of the shower and um, I forgot that I have clean laundry that I need to fold still. So ignore the background for now. I need to go ahead and brush out my hair. But before I do so, oh my gosh, I need to share this with you because I, my skin feels amazing right now. I use this for the first time and it's the Osea, Osea, Osea. O Osea, right? This is the Undaria LG body oil. I got this quite a few months ago and this is literally the first time that I'm using this because I've been saving it to use on like more of a special occasion or something like that. But I was like, you know what? I am going to use it today. It makes my skin so, so soft. Oh my gosh. And the glow is unreal. I don't think you can see it right now because I'm not in the sunlight or anything, but it feels very luxurious and it is literally all over my body right now. <laughs> this is what I typically use and it's the R&Co Pinstripe Intense Detangling Spray. A couple spritzes and brush out my hair with my Tangle Teaser Comb. Also, I usually take showers in the late afternoon or at nighttime. So I don't ever style my hair right after it's wet from the shower. So it's just gonna stay like that for the rest of the night and it'll air dry. And tomorrow I'll probably style it if I end up going somewhere. But for the most part, I really don't care that much about my hair. <laughs> and you guys already know this, I pay way more attention to how my makeup looks versus my hair. But I will say I have been getting a little bit better at doing my hair because it's short and it takes way like less time to style. Now we're in the kitchen and Charlie's cooking us dinner. I think we're gonna get started on making our cocktails in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you because in my last vlog, I showed you us building our West Elm sculptural light fixture situation and the bulbs finally came in. <laughs> So I can actually show you what it looks like. This is what she looks like. Oh, maybe I did show you where I placed it. I just never showed you what it looks like with the lights on. Ta-da! <laughs> I just wanted to show you because I love it so much. Little things in life, you know? Charlie's cooking curry. Looks delicious. Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's an it's a oil saccharum that I made of lemon, lime, and... Yeah, uh, lemon tangerines. lime, that's definitely Lemon potent. lime and tangerines. Oh. Yeah. Why do I smell ginger? Okay, my mm. sense of smell is fucked up. Romper <clears throat> thinks this is his snack when it's not. Sorry, buddy. It is his dinner time, so I will be feeding him shortly. Okay, so what type of cocktails should we make? Um, we have, we have this uh, 
We have juice. watermelon juice. Fresh have. that we just, that Charlie just made because I did nothing to help. <laughs> we have gin. I think a gin cocktail okay. is pretty. Yeah. I'm not a mixologist, guys. I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> Let me grab some fun glasses. Maybe that'll spice things up, you know? I am thinking these types of glasses, it's not your typical cocktail glass. It just kind of looks... You don't have to hide from the camera. <laughs> we got these glasses from... I actually don't know what these are for. Maybe whiskey, but we're gonna just use them today as cocktail glasses. But these are from Tiffany & Co. I didn't even... We need to wash these. <laughs> don't yell at me. But it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. One of my friends from college, we invited her to our wedding, I think three, four years ago now, right? I don't even remember. I'm so <laughs> bad with timelines. She got us these for our wedding gift and they're beautiful. We just don't get a lot of use out of them. So I think today's going to be the perfect day to whip them out. Yeah. <laughs> and we have square ice cubes that I make from the Nespresso mold that I got for free for buying so many sleeves of Nespresso coffee. <laughs> How much of this do you think we should put in there? Or do we put it in this? Uh, you can treat that as simple syrup. Oh. Yeah. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna wait for directions. <laughs> <laughs> should we just do watermelon juice that, um, that simple syrup and then gin. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep it really simple. Okay. I'm gonna feed the little guy because he is literally staring me down. Look at this guy. <laughs> All right, let's feed him. So if you guys are familiar, we put the snoot on him every single time he eats because he's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They have very long ears and they're prone to getting ear infections because their ears just touch everything, including their food and water. So every time he eats food, we put this little snood on. It is disgusting. I should probably wash this. <laughs> so he keeps his hair out of his food bowl. I think I got this from Nordstrom out of all places, so random. But I think you can also get these from Etsy. Let me show you what it looks like on him because it's very cute. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't look very comfortable right now with it on, but I usually pull it like back so it's not in his eyesight. And he's good to go. He also knows that this means food, so he really doesn't mind it. He actually looks for it when he's hungry. So we have watermelon juice. Doesn't have any pulp in it, which is just how I like it. Empress 1908 Indigo Gin. We only have a little bit left. I'm waiting for directions. <laughs> um, I do as I'm told. I'm not the creative when it comes to the kitchen. Take the gin, pour, uh, pour three ounces of that, which is basically oh, two of these things. This. Two of these? Yeah. Two of these? Holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, do do like one, one of that. One and a half? One, one and a half, which is two, I think. Should be two. Oh, it's not. We don't have a lot of what? Or we don't have a lot of this. Oh, uh, I guess we don't. Yeah. All right, then just put the whole okay. thing in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, there was not much left in there. Okay. Yes, this lemon is just juice? lemon juice. Watch, um, don't pour too fast because there's still seeds in it. Okay, we can put uh, an ounce of simple syrup in there. I think oh, that's a lot. I think it's an ounce. That might be like, half an ounce. like that. Yeah, that's or more. Fine. That should be okay. No, that should be okay because the watermelon juice is kind of sweet. Pretty sweet. I think we can put some watermelon juice in there. Some or all? Oh no, no, no not all of that. Uh, like, put like two sh two shots worth of that in there. One. Good. I think we should do another. Okay. I want it to be very watermelon forward. Okay. Okay. And then ice. Yes. There's some ice. Okay. Okay. Close it. Shake it. 
Oh God, I don't want it oh, to no, that, that's, explode on me that's just, like it did on Courtney last time. That's just because if you guys didn't see that vlog, go ahead and check it out and you'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah, we have these molds. We got it for free from Nespresso. Yeah. I feel like it's not enough for two people. No, just split, split both of them and then we'll fill up the rest with whatever left, is left with watermelon juice. Oh. The color is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys didn't even see it. This is what it looks like. Wow, bad angle. Sorry, guys. Here. <laughs> It's good. It's just strong. It's strong? <laughs> okay. So this one? Yeah. We can put this water, we can put some of that watermelon juice. Totally up to you. Let's do this. I like it. <laughs> so we're gonna put in a little bit of this water. It's a non-alcoholic aperitif. It's supposed to taste like rosé. <laughs> It looks really pretty. It really does. There we go. She's throwing like a lychee in there. <laughs> and just let it spin. Okay. So this is what it looks like. What are your thoughts? Hmm. It could be stronger. Oh my gosh. But it's good. You think everything can be stronger. Of course. Happy Saturday. Saturday. I do feel a little bit better now that it's the weekend. I feel like I'm really behind on my filming schedule and because I haven't filmed as many videos in the past two weeks, I don't have anything to edit. I'm not behind in the sense that I'm gonna get off of my upload schedule. It's always twice a week and I made a commitment to myself at the beginning of this year to keep that cadence going strong for the entire year. So I'm determined to not take a break. I have a full cup of coffee here with me to help me get through the day. It's just been really tough these past few days, especially because I've been feeling so unproductive. When I'm really not being that unproductive, I don't know, it's just like a very much of a mental block and a frame of mind type of thing. I don't know, I'm really not great at putting my feelings into words when the camera is on for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think it's not that I'm afraid of being vulnerable, it's more so I really don't know how to describe how I'm feeling while I'm still processing them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This video is not gonna make any sense. I do feel that whenever I fall behind on one thing, I just go down into this spiral of feeling shitty and guilty that I didn't do that thing that I was supposed to do. And then it's just a vicious cycle of feeling shitty. So if I feel shitty, then I feel unmotivated. And then feeling unmotivated causes me to procrastinate on other things and the other things start to fall behind. And then it's just like a constant circle of going around and around and around. And it's hard for me to get out of it and that's what I'm experiencing right now. Hopefully this weekend will be very wholesome because my friend Courtney is actually coming over to spend the entire day with me and night. She's actually going to be sleeping over here. We're gonna do mimosas, we're gonna have snacks, we're gonna order takeout, and we're just gonna do this very loose and flexible 24 hour rating challenge. It's barely gonna be 24 hours you guys i mean she's coming over around noon today and it's it's 10 o'clock right now so i wanted to get some filming done before she gets here but we're literally gonna try to read as much as possible within those 24 hours and she's gonna leave the next day i think she has brunch plans so she's gonna leave sometime in the morning um, this is the first time i've actually done one of these things before with a friend i've never done it by myself either but it'll be 
a lot more fun with a friend. And she's one of my friends who got me into reading romanticy. Like she got me into Court of Thorns, Thorns, like the Akatar series, Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. I trip over that title every single time that I try to say it. She made me purchase the entire Thor, Thor Oh my gosh, now I'm messing up Throne of Glass as well. But yeah, that series. I haven't started that at all because I have been stuck on the Fourth Wing series. I'm on the second book, Iron Flame. I still haven't finished it. I'm about halfway through. So I'm hoping that with this 24 hour reading challenge that I'll be able to knock that out and then hopefully start another book. We are going to sleep, so I don't think we can technically call it a 24 hour reading challenge. But like I said, it's very loose, flexible. It's just for fun. Let's do a little bit of a collective haul. And I also got a few PR packages. So I wanted to show you what I got cause they are some very exciting stuff. Okay, look at this bag. Isn't she gorgeous? It is by the brand RSVP Paris and I got it as a gift from the brand in a PR package and I am so in love with her. I don't have any navy bags in my collection. I, I mean, if you've seen my handbag collection videos, none of them have featured this like navy color. I think it's because I don't own a lot of cool toned pieces in my wardrobe, nor anything in the blue color spectrum for some reason, but I've been wanting to add a navy into my handbag collection and just navy in general. I wanna wear more blues that do work for my skin tone. And I think this is a very neutral toned navy blue. So I do think that it's going to go with a lot of my warmer toned outfits. She is gorgeous. She comes with an adjustable crossbody strap and the gold hardware looks so nice against the navy. And this design is so stinking cute. It has these like two little gold facets or buttons on the clasp or like the opening flap. Kind of looks like a little robot. <laughs> I'll go ahead and make sure to link everything in the description if you guys are interested. But yeah, I love her already. I haven't used her out yet, but I'm super excited. She does fit my iPhone. 15 Pro Max and very easily as well. So just wanted to show you that in case you were curious what can fit in here. I love the magnetic closure as well. It's like very easy to get in and out of. And it's like the perfect size and everything for an everyday bag. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And then the other PR package that I got is from Forever Rose, or I'm sorry, I keep saying the brand's name wrong. It's Rose Forever. New York. I featured them once already in my previous vlog, but I wanted to show you guys a better view of it because they deserve the attention. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys have to try these candles. They are making my entire house smell like these candles. It's so, so nice. Oh my gosh. This one in particular, it's in vanilla and musk scent. This is what I envision a New York penthouse to smell like. I don't know. It just makes you feel like you are rich. Um, love this so much. And look how giant this candle is. It is the size of my head. I'm sure the burn time is going to be amazing on this thing. It has four wicks, so you know it's going to burn fantastic. Even without burning it, my whole house smells like this. It's so cute as decor and so luxurious. So if you need gift ideas for people or housewarming. This is amazing. This one also smells delicious and it is in the bays and berries scent. It's much more fruitier and lighter than obviously the vanilla and musk scent, right? This is perfect for spring and summer and oh my gosh, it's I can't stop smelling it, you guys. And look how beautiful this glass jar is. It's just so pretty with the gold. So beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be repurposing these jars or like the candle containers for something else once this is burned, which will take forever. Definitely wanted to show you guys those more up close than I showed them in my last video. This one is a fun one. Okay, so I bought this myself <laughs> from Amazon. Yeah, oops, sorry, I just like shook the table. This is by the brand Brewmate. It's like, 
your expensive koozie. <laughs> I bought it for the seltzers, you know, in the summer. I just went on a boat activity for my friend's birthday last week and I wish I had this because this makes your canned drinks, like the 12 ounce cans that are slim, all of those can fit in here. It makes them stay cold for so much longer than just your regular foam koozie or just you holding it in your hands. This really keeps your beverage cool. And I love that because I hate when fizzy drinks get warm or lose the fizz. And this helps keep both of them, in my opinion, from the times that I've used this already. It's very aesthetic too. I obviously got it in a neutral white, but it's also hologram, like hol like the glittery. I love it. It's just like one of those things that I upgraded <laughs> for the summer because it just makes me happy. I did a little haul on truffle they sell a lot of travel organizers and stuff like that so i picked up a few things i have a ton of their stuff already i have their makeup case that i use on a daily i have them in different sizes i have different pouches so when i saw this on sale i decided to grab it and not gonna lie it is a little flimsier than I thought it was going to be, but I'm actually super excited to use this when I go to the pool. Sometimes I don't wanna bring my more expensive leather bags in case they run the risk of getting wet and stained and gross with sunscreen and things like that. So this is so easy to just wipe clean. It's PVC, I believe. It does have a little bit of leather trimming, but I'm not super worried about it. And because I got them on sale, um, even less worried about ruining it if it does get ruined at the beach or pool, but I think this would be so handy for that. And it's just a magnetic closure. It's obviously transparent, so you can easily see what's in your bag and it perfectly fits my phone too, which is awesome. And I'm sure it'll, you know, fit a bunch of other essentials like lip balm, a mini like travel sunscreen, your sunglasses, things like that when you go to the pool or the beach. So super excited. I'm probably just going to put all of my essentials in here and then pop this in like this entire bag into my oversized beach or pool bag that has more of my stuff like towel, water, bottle, and other things that I bring with me usually. Quality is interesting. It's not as substantial as I thought it was going to be, but I think it is great for the purpose that I bought it for, you know? This is the next thing that I bought from Truffle and this is going to be a replacement for my other pouch set. It comes with two different sizes, one large, one small. I got that on sale and now I realize why it was on sale. It is a cloth material, it's like cotton. So it's not wipeable, it's not as flexible as this either. So I wanted it to be something like this where I can wipe it clean very easily. I can still see through it. I've been eyeing this one. I should have just bought this from the beginning. It comes with it two different sizes. I love it. I usually take these with me on travel inside my carry-all on the plane with me. I just love how these are see-through, but it's not as obvious because the color is black. Highly recommend Truffle. They're a little expensive, but you will have them forever unless you, you know, your style grows out of them, but I don't think so because they're so minimal and very aesthetic. I love them so, so much. Last but not least from Truffle, look how beautiful this one is. I love the color combination of the cream ivory color with the black trimming. And this one is white transparent PVC. I got this to upgrade my other pouch that I have from like a gift with purchase. And I have all of my sunscreen products in there for when I go to the beach or the pool. So I'm gonna switch that out with this because this one is just so much nicer. You guys will definitely see these things in more videos when I do like pack with me's or stuff like that, which is a great segue to talking about that. I am going to Punta Cana in T minus, I wanna say 20 days or so, like less than three weeks. So I'm so excited. Hopefully I will show you guys how I pack. I've been meaning to make that video for so long. Every single time that I am traveling, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a pack with me video, but I always procrastinate packing. I'm so bad about packing. I will literally wait until the very last minute 
stress out and then I can't film because I am struggling. But this time around, I will make sure that I will try my best <laughs> to time myself well, plan out my outfits in advance so I can make some good content for you guys. And I'm traveling actually a lot this year, not a lot. I mean, we just have a lot of trips coming up. We didn't travel at all this year yet. So I'm excited for Punta Cana. And then in the fall, Charlie and I booked our Europe trip. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I cannot contain my excitement, literally. We're gonna go to France and Spain. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up before my friend gets here for the reading challenge. But once she gets here, let's go ahead and hang out more. We're gonna make mimosas and have some snacks. Romper's gonna hang out with us. That's the plan for today. Trilogy and not just like the first book. So I was like, how am I only 27% done? <laughs> but it's like the credits. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Uh, I, I finished the first book. Oh, that's good. I feel like you read really fast. You know who reads even faster than me? So Ellen and I started them. <laughs> <laughs> he is like burritoed up. I think he's so cute. Oh. He's a sweet boy. Hi. He's so loved. <laughs> this is the dinner of warriors. <laughs> mm. The best chicken nuggets. Yeah, this was very much needed. Good morning. I am having a fantastic weekend. I definitely needed that really chill hangout session, reading challenge, whatever you want to call it, with my friend Courtney. And it was just so wholesome and refreshing. It just really filled my cup, which was exactly what I needed for the funky week that I've been having. She just left and I'm just having a cup of coffee and enjoying my morning. It's been pretty slow today, which is nice. I do have a couple things that I do need to get done. Like I think I want to try to film two videos today. I don't know if it's actually going to happen because we might meet up with our friends uh, Dan and Katie later today. I also need to take a freaking exam <laughs> that I have been procrastinating for so long. I took my actual course. It was It's for work. It's related to work. And I took that course, I want to say over two weeks ago. I still have plenty of time to take the exam within the window that it's provided for, but I want to knock them out today so that I can go into the week tomorrow fresh and feeling like I have everything settled. That's one of the things that I really want to knock out today. That's the plan today. But also before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you this sunflower that <laughs> Charlie picked up for me because I was having a funky week and I'm on my period and he was just very sweet and got me a sunflower. Sunflowers, I mean, it's supposed to be more than one. It is going to bloom at some point, but let me bring her. <laughs> This is what she looks like. She's pretty big. So we have this to take care of. I think he just watered it and we put it right near our bench where our giant French doors are because we get a lot of light. Let me show you what it looks like. He just placed it here. Very cute. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm gonna get going and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so sorry that this video was a little bit of a downer in some ways, but I'm feeling much better now. I think I'm gonna be able to get out of this funk and return back to normal and feel productive again. And it's just, yeah, I'm gonna work on it so that I have a good week starting tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to stick around. And I will talk to you in the comments. Bye.